Let's listen to one voicemail about an anti-gay conspiracy. 219 to David P. Let's take a listen. Uh, hey, David and Talzy here. And uh, I've listened to your show, really enjoy it. And I wanted to talk about your um, interview with Wayne Besson and Michael Brown, or debate, or whatever you want to call it. And I have two points. I think, first of all, I think it's time to start lumping the anti-gay people and even the creationists in the same camp as, you know, climate change deniers, 9-11 truthers, Roswell cover-up people, the Apollo moon landing. Um, you know, because all they really are, I think, is just conspiracy theories. But even though the science is, is, is already, you know, reached a consensus, they, they really just refuse to believe that that is the case. And therefore... I like this. I like this idea. The reality is that being anti-gay is not that different than being a conspiracy theorist in so many other ways insofar as so many of the anti-gay hypotheses are based on completely unsubstantiated and debunked theories about what it means to be gay, what it means to be the son of someone who's gay. As we know, the children of, of gay couples do not have worse results in life, however you measure it. There is no link between homosexuality and pedophilia, the way that so many anti-gay people like to say. There is nothing unnatural about being gay, as homosexuality exists in thousands well, of species. I mean, a lot of a lot of anti-gay people aren't refuting science because they don't know about the science. They don't know anything about it. They've never looked into it. All they're some of them. Yeah, all they're doing is uh, a lot of them. All they're doing is looking at the Bible, which they think says it's bad, and they think the Bible is the word of of God. And they just follow it. I like this, though. Th really, we should be talking to anti-gay bigots the same way we talk to conspiracy theorists of all kinds. So we don't talk to them. Well, we talk to them in a way that you talk to someone who, has, who, who does seem to have some kind of an issue, some kind of a cognitive issue. I mean, can't we make the argument that being an anti-gay bigot is at some level a cognitive issue? Uh, bigotry across the board, I guess you could, you could say. On the Pope starring in a gay porn movie, a lot of email about this. Um, the headline reading Pope Benedict is blessing gay porn actors is a moral improvement of what, over what the Catholic Church is normally doing with sex. After all, blessing two consenting adults is far better than violating little boys. That's a very good point. Amen. Very, very good point. And it is perfectly in keeping with the dishonesty, treachery, and hypocrisy of the Church and this particular Pope. A very good point as well, Lewis. Yes. And on Mitt Romney calling America a company, so now corporations are people and countries are corporations. Interesting. So basically, a country is a person. United States LLC. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's good. A yeah. equals B, B equals C, A equals C. Perfectly right. reasonable. Mm -hmm. And let's get real. Mittens is very used to talking to companies. That he slipped and said companies isn't that big of a deal. It's not that it's a big deal. It just confirms everything that we've been saying from the left and that people on the right have been denying, which is that his entire context and interest moving forward is that of thinking of the U.S. as a company, as a for-profit institution of some kind, which is a very, very dangerous thing. Very dangerous. How much time do we have, Lewis? Eight seconds. Okay. DavidPackman.com slash DNC. We will see you tomorrow. Watch the Bill Clinton speech tonight. I'll be watching it. We'll have instant reaction, then we'll debrief from it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon or on The Bonus Show, hosted and produced by Lewis. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.